Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif Mercado, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 34. Hope, hoping you guys are having a great night. My night is coming to a close, which is why I'm speaking to you right now. <laughs> um, pretty productive day today. Had a lot to do, actually doing a lot of sorting and I'm trying to organize the office a little bit. Uh, Every time I pick up a new project, it's like I I need a... It's it's weird because it's like I need a new desk for it. It's it's, it's true. So it's either going to be a desk. I have one. I have an L desk. I have another desk. Uh, I have another little desk. And then I have a couple of folding tables. And the folding tables are the big white ones, big picnic ones. And I, I love those because it's weird, though. I like to open it up to write. But I don't put anything else on it. <laughs> so it's like a six foot table, like six by two, six feet by two feet. And I just like the paper on there uh, so I can write if I'm taking some notes or I'm doing whatever. 90% of my notes I take on the computer, but every once in a while there's certain things that I need to physically write by hand, especially when I'm working on ideas. I just want to kind of sketch a few things out real quick, you know? So, um,. Other than that, I uh, was on Facebook, saw a few messages. I got a call today from Stevie B. Um, he just wanted, he sent me the tracks to his new album. And uh, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to them yet. He wants to know what I thought. Um, I saw some of the comments out there. <clears throat> I'll take a listen to it tomorrow. I think I heard little pieces of it. I saw some of the comments out there. Um, and people are... I didn't say anything negative, though. But I, I am seeing people talking about, well... That's not freestyle, you know, and I, you know, I went through this a few times. I think one of my vlogs, I think it's the one that says one beat, one blood. You might want to check that one up uh, out on my YouTube. Uh, it's called one beat, one blood. And what I'm doing is I'm talking about uh, the relationship between freestyle and hip hop. You see, I want you guys to realize what I'm talking about. And I, I try to make this as clear as possible some people get it, but they get it for like a, it's weird because they get it for like a short period of time and then they don't get it again. And they're coming back and they're, they're, they're talking to me like, like we never had this conversation. Okay. So really quick, people start talking about, oh, that doesn't, it's not freestyle. It's not freestyle. Well, it's hard to, for anybody to say that. If you're saying it's not freestyle, then there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Okay. Because if someone presents to you a rap record or if they present to you an R&B record, that's pretty much what you're not going to say. You're not going to say, oh, it's not a rap record or that's not an R&B record. OK, freestyle, for some reason, has is like it's in a box. The artists and the producers are not allowed to go outside this box, yet everybody complains that everything sounds the same. OK. Freestyle originated from hip hop, okay? People called freestyle Latin hip hop for many years, and they still do in certain regions. They still refer to it as Latin hip hop, okay? Let's keep this in mind now. So, everyone knows the Planet Rock beat. Okay, well, that's not a freestyle beat. Okay, hello. Planet Rock beat is not a freestyle beat, it's a hip hop beat, okay? So, we took the hip hop beat. And we added it to our songs. Okay, that's cool for one song, two songs, ten songs, a hundred songs, but not every record. That should not be cut in stone. That should never be the formula of a freestyle record. It should not. I believe that freestyle should be determined more so by the artist who sings it. If there's an artist and they want to call their music freestyle, I think that's the way we, that's the route we need to do. I don't think 
that there's an actual formula to the genre. People say, oh yeah, what, well, Planet Rock beat with some, you know, orchestra hits. Yes, that was the sound of freestyle back in the 80s. That does not have to continue on today. Listen to um, 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 Rap is the Light, okay? Sugar Hill Gang, listen to Rap is the Light. Considered hip hop, considered rap. Now come back over, what, 30 something years later? Listen to Drake, listen to Russ, um, listen to Post Malone. Those records are considered hip hop, okay? However, or rap, however, they sound nothing like Sugar Hill Gang. Think about this for a minute. They sound nothing like it, but it's still, but the title still, still works. The title is still there. Why can't freestyle do the same thing? Why does it have to sound? Why can't a new freestyle record have more of an R&B feel to it and still be considered freestyle? I think it should be considered whatever you want it to be considered. And I don't think it should have any formula to it. Maybe that's the whole idea of freestyle. Maybe that's the whole idea. Maybe, you know, maybe that's the route we need to go. Maybe we need to challenge more producers and more artists to stop being scared and stop, stop, stop chasing the formula. Stop trying to find a record that the world will love. Start with a record that you will love. Go outside the box. Try some new sounds. Try a new rhythm. Try a new melody. Try something different. Talk about something besides love. Try it. I challenge producers. This should be the challenge. The challenge should no longer be who's going to do the best freestyle record as we know it. Let's do the challenge as who's going to create some new shit. I want to sit back and vibe to my artists, man. I want, I'm talking about the people who are making new records. I'm not talking about the old school cats or the ones who are content they don't really want to do any new music. If I go into a store, into a studio with Angel, trust me, rest assured, it's not going to sound like anything else that anybody's doing. Because I'm not going to go after that. I'm not going to go to try to please the audience. I'm not. I believe that the artist needs to be pleased first or that shit is fake. If the artist cannot vibe to their own music, then that shit is fake. Some people might object. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'll be real with you. If the artist is not vibing, a painter paints a painting that he loves, that he understands. And because of that, because of the passion that he or she put into this painting, it shows everyone else and everyone else falls in love with him. If an artist is on stage and rocking the house, whether they're dancing or whatever, they have a band, If they're not enjoying themselves, if they're just there, you know, playing the instruments and singing like a bunch of robots, nobody's going to feel it. So the key is the artist needs to feel it first. You need to feel it first. Go in. Take all that other shit that sounds like back in the 80s and throw shit away, man. Forget about it. Forget about it. It's not cracking any molds. It's not doing anything. Most of us are bored of it. I have a deep appreciation for the artists, but I would like you, I would like you to hear an entire album of something new, but it's called freestyle. Not freestyle this or freestyle that or that freestyle. Freestyle. Why not? Try it. If enough people do it, it'll stick. It'll stick. You guys all want these incredible careers in, in music. Stop being scared. It, it, just look at the history of the this shit is. It's not going nowhere if you keep on, if you keep on just trying to, 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 you know, produce within the four walls, you know, if Stevie B is um, producing something or Tony Stone is producing something and it's not what you expect, but it's good, then you need to embrace it. Now, of course, if you don't like the record, I would like a record. I don't care who sings it, whether it's Stevie or anybody. If I don't like, I don't like the record. I'm not going to, but if you are feeling the record, embrace the record. Don't toss it because it's not, it's not produced according to the standards that you think freestyle along according to the formula. There is no formula, man. A formula created itself. 
Nobody sat down and created that formula. That's what people were feeling back in those days. That was what people were feeling when they produced that particular record. And then it did well. Then somebody else did it. And they said, well, let me, they like that. Let's, let's do something like that. And it did well. And then someone else did it. And it did well. And then little by little, it didn't do well anymore. But people weren't looking at those records that didn't do well anymore. They kept on looking at the first or second record. They said, man, those records are big, man. We need to produce something like that. Man, I get that all the time when people send me a song. You got you you, you to hear this record, man. It's like Cover Girls, man. It's like co- Right away, man, I know I'm not going to like it. I know I'm not going to like it because I know what it's going to sound like. Come on, man. Take us on a journey, man. Take us somewhere else. Got a lot of producers out there. A lot of producers still. And I think a lot of producers are not producing because they're bored also. I think Carlos Berrios is still producing. Um, the Santana Twins are producing. Willie Valentine is producing. I think Artie Rodriguez is producing. I don't know who else is producing out there. Uh, the guy Tanasia, right? From that, did I say the name right? From Germany. He's producing. Come on outside the box, man. Call the shit freestyle and give us something, something different, man. Give us something that we can vibe with. Something that... And I could be in my car and I want to blast it because it just got this dope ass rhythm, man. You know that the lyrics are really just dope, man. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear the same old cookie cutter. I love freestyle, but I, I told you guys many times before, it's not the artist, it's not the music. I love what it stands for. I love the culture of it. I could wipe out all the artists could, could quit and all the music could disappear. And I still love the, the whole concept of what it stood for. The music was just a backdrop. But now we want the music to evolve and we want to maybe open up to another audience and, you know, which I think is important. Hip-hop did it, still does it. You know, you got to realize a lot of the hip-hop is the rappers back in the days are in their 50s now. Some of them are getting close to 60. Some of them are in 60, you know? But they're coming in now, you know, now you got the new new art records coming out, new artists, new producers, and now you got brand new kids, brand new kids coming into this music. And they're loving it, you know? I'm talking about hip-hop. That's what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> but um that's the challenge I want I want to I want I want people to do, you know. I know there's a lot of music out there. And then we have a lot of internet radio stations, you know. La Radio Live, um, me and Fernando, we talk about this. If you guys don't know, Fernando, Fernando Hernandez is the program director of La Radio Live. If you want to get music onto the station, you need to reach out to him, not me. He actually will take the time and sit down, listen to it, and put on what he feels he wants to put on. But he's the one you need to hit. But we do talk and we do consult. We do, we do go over, you know, the format and what we're trying to do. And it's really, it's none of it is my idea. It's all him. Um, but one thing I do advise and I do try to, you know, tell him is, is I don't want to leave anybody out. I, don't, I really want to take chances. I don't want to not put on a record because we think it doesn't sound like freestyle. If a freestyle artist performed it and they're not calling it R&B and they're not calling it hip hop and they're still keeping it under the freestyle banner, then I think we need to play it. Let's play it. I don't want to be the judge as to if it's good or if other people are going to like it. Let me just play it. Let's just put it on the station. Let's see what the fans say. Now, if all of a sudden the fans are loving it, boom, then this is good. This is a good a good way of um clearing the path. You know, Stevie B is a really good um representative to kind of lead the way he's been leading the way for years so you guys can say what you want to say but you know i i see i'm all about reality man i gotta i gotta be real you know um and you know if he's taking it this route you know it's because he sees something he knows something you know so kind of need to just listen you don't need to like his shit i don't care i don't care if you don't like it i don't care if you trash it that's on you guys that's that's freedom of speech, and that's, you know, social media. So, whatever. You don't like this podcast, trash this shit, too. It's your prerogative. You know, I'm not asking you to, to like it. What I'm asking you to is to listen and to try to take from it what what the intentions are. The intentions are to use this platform here to teach you. And, the, the you know, the idea of what Stevie put out and what other people are putting out, if it's not, you know, what you expected, then that should be a good thing. I mean, how bored will you be if, 
you know, I mean, we already bought. How many, how many more records? How, you know, why do these records have to all sound the same? Let's, let's, you know, let's really, you know, take another look at that. Now, I want you guys to really think about the hip hop area. I want you to really, you know, because that's that's the best way of really understanding what I'm trying to say. The hip hop from 1980s to is nothing like the hip hop today in 2020. However, it's still called hip hop or it's still called rap. And if they're rapping, if they're rapping, let's say rap on country songs, they rap on rock songs. Is it just because they're rapping on a rock song, is it now suddenly a rap racket? If they're rapping on a country song, is it suddenly a rap racket? No, they're just adding a little spice to it, changing it up a bit. This is some important stuff, man, you know? And all you producers, all you guys out there getting behind your, your thing, I, you know? You know, I've done my research. I know who's playing what. I know who's... You know, I'm never going to say you guys are whack. Nobody's whack. I mean, in fact, man, I think freestyle artists and producers are some incredibly talented people. We're just not challenged. You know, we're not... We're not the bar is not high, man. This bar, the bar has been where it is for so many years. In fact, I think the bar has lowered. Come on, man. Really? I just want to see and hear. I want some some shit that's going to make me want to sit back and just, and really vibe. That's what I'm dying for, something like that. And for my people. See, I can find that in a hip-hop record. I can find it in an R&B record. I can find it in some rap records. I mean, some rock records. I can sit back, close my eyes, lower the lights, and just kind of vibe and kind of, you know, chill out. And I can feel it. Can't do it with freestyle. It's been a, it's been a long minute since I've been able to do something like that. Why? That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How can we consider ourselves a, a, an artistic genre? How can you call yourself an artist or a producer and you're creating the same shit that they've been creating since the 80s? What are you scared of? Do not be scared of this. Don't be scared. Let me be the first one to listen to it. Bring back, bring to me exactly what I told you here in this podcast. You know, send me a track and say, yo, I did what you said. Listen to this. It's a freestyle record. And let me hear it. Let me hear some crazy ass shit. Now, if it sucks, it sucks. I ain't going to front. I ain't going to lie. It's all oh, it a great record. I might say, okay, you're on the right track. Keep working on the record. I don't think the record's right. But that's just my opinion. 20 other people might love it. It might become a mega hit. You know what I'm saying? You can't really go. It's when they, Remember, I mentioned this before. If it's an artistic medium, you know, some people will love it. Some people won't. Doesn't mean that it's good or bad. Doesn't mean. Doesn't mean any of that. So my dog is over here snoring. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? <laughs> She's a puppy. Why the hell does she sound like an old man? <laughs> Any, anyway, that shit was funny. Okay. But, like I said, I'm not going to front like I like the record. But I will give it props if I see what you intentionally try to do. Give it a shot, man. Don't think, don't let, don't, don't be scared of going outside the box. See, that's the key. If people, don't be scared of what people think. Don't, don't be scared of that. Don't, don't worry about that. And and now with home studios, we got the luxury of really spitting this stuff out. You should be spitting out a record a day, honestly. People say, oh, well, that's quantity. We're not going to get the quality. Yeah, quality be okay. Quality be okay. You don't need 10 days to mix a record. You can mix and record and do everything within one day. You know? Grab your top 10 records Start putting them out every single day. And then and then while you're putting those on, start recording some other ones. That will keep you ahead of the game. And try it. Give it a, a year. Try to keep spitting that, spitting that shot. And go with what you're feeling. So, 
But anyway, I'm looking really, I'm really looking forward to um, hearing what you guys come up with. I, I wish you guys would really take, take what I'm telling you to heart. I've been doing this for a long time. I, I know music. I have a great ear. I love good shit, man. I vibe, you know. I feel like I know the formula. I know the, the, the key, not the formula, but I know the key. And what I just mentioned is the key. That's the key. Stop, get outside the four walls. Don't worry about people saying, oh, it's not freestyle. Fuck them. Just do what you're feeling. Call it freestyle. And just keep, keep it going. All right, guys. Anyway, until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.